Hey everyone, Fast Eddie here. And this is gonna be a brown belt demonstration. So for brown belt, you have to be able to stop less than 18 feet at 25 miles per hour. You have to be able to do three rotations inside a 20 foot diameter circle, which are the orange cones behind me, both directions. And then you have to be able to do a 15 by seven foot offset weave, which are the green cones behind me. And then you have to be able to do level two parking space drill which is three figure eights in a row inside one, two, three, four parking spaces. And we have those measured out in tape right over there. And the last exercise for brown belt is be able to get your knee down both directions around a 40 foot diameter circle. And that's the last exercise I'll demonstrate. And that, those are the green cones over there. So the first exercise, 25 miles per hour. Do not start braking, don't roll off the throttle, don't do absolutely nothing until your front tire gets to the starting point. And as long as you stop less than 18 feet when you're going 25 miles per hour, you'll be good. Check it out. So now you're going a little bit faster, but it's the same technique. Once you begin to brake, it's just a smooth squeeze all the way down on the front brake. So if you think about it in numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You're not going 10, 20, 30, 100. If you do anything fast, the bike will react just as fast. Just a smooth squeeze on the brake. And the front brakes is the most powerful, so that's what to focus on. Next exercise, three rotations inside a 20 foot diameter circle, both directions. A couple tips for the 20 foot circle. Again, you do not have to get to full lock because the bike's straight up and down, you're probably not gonna make it inside the 20 footer. You have to lean the bike really far. The more you lean the bike, the tighter the circle will be. So this requires, um, if you could tell, I was dragging the rear brake a little bit to keep the speed low. Really push the bike down and point your chin. Really try to look at your own license plate. Look behind you. It'll help make that tight, that really tight circle. The next drill is a 15 by seven foot offset weave and that's the green cones down here check it out With the brown belt, you definitely have to start to disconnect more from the bike. As you can see, I'm kind of pushing the bike down. I'm letting it do its thing, but I'm pretty much staying upright. So this is the idea. You want your body to stay up. You just kind of let the bike flow and let gravity, let the bike do the work for you. Again, there's no physical strength that I'm doing to do any of this stuff. It's just a technique. But when you get up to brown belt, that's pretty difficult because it's offset pretty good. I'm dragging the rear brake constantly, trail braking with the rear brake, slipping the clutch, playing with the throttle. Vision is really need to look ahead. So it requires all the skills from white and blue to come together in order to do brown. The next drill, we have a level two parking space drill, which is a figure eight between four spots. Come on over there, I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing. So in case you do not have actual parking spots, you could just do what we do or what we just did. I just got some tape from Walmart about 10 minutes ago and you just tape it down. 
So the most important thing are the measurements, right? So it's eight feet wide and the parking space for one parking space is 15 feet. So the lines going this way are 30 feet and eight feet wide parking space. That's the standard if you're doing Moto Jitsu. So for level two, three figure eights in a row inside four parking spots. Check it out. So a couple tips for the parking space level two, the figure eights, use every single inch of the parking spot you got. So try to ride the line, like kind of like I did on a couple of them. You really got to push the bike down, let the bike do the work. Huge head turns, trail braking with the rear brake, lightly on the brake. You're not pushing down, you're not letting off. Your foot's kind of just resting on the rear brake. I'm raising the RPM up a little bit, slipping the clutch, big head turns. The next drill is be able to get your knee down around a 40 foot diameter circle in both directions. So I'll head down there and I'll come to a stop. And then uh, once the camera lady comes up behind me, I'll take off and demonstrate. there's no requirement for how many times you have to go around I think I just did one and a half at least one full rotation so when you start to do this tips for body position for knee drag and stuff no matter what bike butt all the way up against the back of the bike and about a half a butt cheek off for all these drills so far even for that I was in first gear you could be in whatever gear you want whatever speed you want but for that I was going less than 20 first gear or just all the body position get your upper body way off to the inside like this and once your upper body is good and you're practicing this, if you want to start to do brown belt, once your upper body position is good and you can go around a circle like that, then butt back, half butt cheek off, and then stick your leg out, and that's the only difference. So knee in or knee out, there's no difference over your upper body. So there you go. Thanks for watching. That's all the brown belt. Stay tuned for black belt.